your GPU from last generation just went up in value. If you have something like this, a 3060 Ti, well, guess what? It's basically as good as the 4060 Ti. I'm sure in your inbox today, you saw all of the reviews for the new 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte, and they're all actually pretty terrible. I mean, you'll have some YouTubers trying to straddle the line between, you know, saying something nice about Nvidia and not saying too many bad things about that GPU. But overall, you could say most of the big YouTubers, they're even saying that this is probably the worst release. Well, not this, the 4060 Ti is likely the worst released GPU in a very long time. Today's video is brought to you by Jawa.gg. Jawa is a terrific place where gamers can have a community where they can discuss, buy, sell, and even plan the builds that they're doing. You can even sell directly to Jawa. That way you can offset the cost of whatever new GPU you want to buy. I've even listed a GPU on Jawa myself. Jawa also has a pretty expansive community, such as on Discord, the weekly build emails. It's really, truly a nicely curated game community where you can buy, sell, and learn about PC building. Something that's going to be very important in the current PC building climate that we are in now. They have verified sellers if you'd like to put something together and have a build done for you. So remember to check out Jawa. Use the link in the description below, Welcome 10, and you'll get a nice $10 discount off of your first order. And now let's go back to the video. Let me just break it down to you. The 6700 XT, 12 gigabyte, which you can often find for like 280 to 300 dollars is basically almost as fast as the 4060 ti for considerably less money not to mention this guy the 3060 ti also 8 gigabytes of vram 256 bit memory bus compared to only 128 bit i bring that up a lot because i've been warning you guys about these nvidia gpus starting with the 4070 ti i showed you how it's absolutely useless in a lot of 4k scenarios a lot of people didn't want to agree completely at the time. They would say, all oh, NVIDIA says it's a 1440p GPU. Nobody is using a 4070 Ti to play 4K. Well, guess what? It's a $799 GPU. It should do 4K. NVIDIA used to have their $400 GPUs be 4K capable. Why is an $800 GPU not 4K capable? That's absolutely ridiculous. Yes, you can play 4K, but you'll see in most new titles, the VRAM buffer is going to fill up very, very fast with only 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And that GPU only has a 192-bit memory bus, which is very embarrassing for $800. That's why the GPU didn't sell. It's on the shelves and not that many people bought it. And then coming back to the 3060 Ti, I mean, this GPU is years old at this point, and the 4060 Ti is often only a few percentage points better. That's absolutely ridiculous. Even Gamers Nexus made a good point that sometimes this is like only two to 5% slower than the 4060 Ti. The only redeeming quality of the 4060 Ti is if you wanna use it, DLSS 3, of course, that's gonna come with you know better power efficiency and also the AV1 encoding, if that's something that you use, but that's pretty much it. In most other scenarios, it's basically neck and neck with this guy and that GPU is losing pretty bad Badly to everything else. That means your current GPU, which is the whole premise of this video, likely just maintained its value or went up a little bit. Imagine if the 4060 Ti was unbelievably good. Imagine if it was as good as like a 3080 or a 3090 for $400. Any GPU would absolutely lose its value that's on the market from last generation. 6700 XT would be garbage. 3060 Ti would be garbage. This would be worth like 150 bucks, probably $200 if the 4060 Ti had that type of performance. Remember, some of the GPUs like the 1060, when that came out, that was as good as like a 980 from the previous generation. So during Pascal, those GPUs really hit above their weight and you could get almost last gen class leading performance for the price of the entry level. But now Nvidia doesn't wanna give you that. They're gonna give you basically the performance that's in this guy 
in this generation with like a little bit of lipstick on it so it's slightly better we're talking like two points better very very little difference and while not every game uses dlss3 here's another major issue i was even reading through the pc world review from brad about that very gpu he brought up an excellent point at 1080p all of the upscaling technologies really don't look that good and i really agree with him most games look fine when you're using dlss or fsr if you're at 1440p or 4k preferably because it's going to render it at a lower resolution to be able to upscale it with the technology but if you're starting at 1080p that's just going to be a lot less pixels to start whatever it has to do with so that means you're going to get much worse performance and anytime i've used even dlss at 1080p the performance and the visuals really isn't worth it so that brings us to the 4060 ti which is an 8 gigabyte gpu and nvidia is obviously really directing this GPU to 1080p, but it can barely handle 1080p. And if you're gonna use DLSS 3 on it, it's not really gonna look that good. It's gonna look even worse. So that's sort of gonna really negate all of the other you know, eye candy that you're gonna turn on. If you turn on high textures, it's gonna eat up your VRAM. You turn on ray tracing, it's gonna eat up your VRAM. That means that now you're gonna to have to use DLSS 3. It's not gonna look anywhere near as good as if it was 1440p or 4K because of that lower starting point and then all of these high settings that you just turned on pretty much are you know kind of void because it's not going to look good often it looks even worse when everything's all pixelated and just doesn't look correct at the resolution if this was a 1440p gpu like the 4070 for example you can get away with the lss3 a lot better that's going to do a lot better job but you try to slap this guy at 1440p and we saw some really strikingly bad results from all of the benchmarks that came out today. In many cases at 1440p, this guy, the 3060 Ti, is basically neck and neck with the 4060 Ti. So then at 1440p, in the titles that do support the LSS3, and they may actually look a little bit better, that's the only time that sometimes at that resolution you're going to get a better performance that's going to be more measurable than the 3060 Ti. But then not everything actually supports the LSS3. And remember, some games that do, for example, take Cyberpunk. If you put that bad boy on overdrive even the 4090 struggles with it at the lss3 like you're barely getting playable frame rates if you put something like a 4060 ti you might have to just put it on ultra and not even have ray tracing at that point for 1440p even at the lss3 it's not going to play very well you need at least a good starting point for dlss3 to grab those frame rates and so it doesn't look like an absolute mess if you're only getting like one or two frames per second the lss3 is not going to help you very very much but if you're starting a little bit higher then it's a whole different difference but this gpu as nvidia has it is geared towards the 1080p crowd i even did a little poll asking my viewers what resolution that they're playing at and remember the viewers that watch my channel same viewers that usually watch like you know gamers nexus jay's two cents linus tech tips maybe you're going to be a little bit more of an enthusiast crowd so actually a lot of 1440p that seems to be the majority and then 1080p as expected but also a lot of 4k which i have used myself as well along with other resolutions 4k has gotten a lot cheaper lately so that's why sometimes i bring up 4k it's not like nobody uses it a lot of people have 4k tvs like the lg or oled tv which are very affordable compared to a lot of monitors so 4k is getting a lot more popular and you can see by these results it's not one or two percent it's almost as many as 1080p so that shows you the enthusiast level for higher resolutions and obviously 1440p is the sweet spot and then you'll have ultra wide sprinkled in there all of those except for 1080p are resolutions that the 4060 ti will struggle at and your current gpu even if it's a 6700 xt 6800 and above especially and then even from nvidia 3060 ti a 3070 that's likely to be better in many cases than even the 4060 ti or at least very close to it for something and that's much much older that's going to be a major problem and nvidia now objectively just launched something that is not good at all at 1440p and even 1080p you're going to struggle with it if you want to put on textures and ray tracing and like we said the dlss3 not going to look nearly as good at 1080p that's a major problem and it's actually going to get worse the 16 gigabyte that's 100 more than this that's going to be coming out in july guess what that's the only 
only difference is eight more gigabytes of VRAM. It's the same performance otherwise. So unless it's a scenario where the VRAM is actually limiting your frame rates, you're gonna get the same bad performance on the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte that's gonna be comparable to something like a 3060 Ti for $500 now. So that shows you how bad that GPU is going to be. That GPU should have been at most $400 and it should have been just the 16 gigabyte version. The 8 gigabyte version makes absolutely no sense. And the 16 gigabyte version at $500 also makes absolutely no sense because most of the time, if you're not VRAM limited, you're going to be getting very, very limited frame rates. And it's going to be likely worse than a 3070 for the same price as a 3070 years later. So that's a very, very bad value proposition. So as you can see, it's not shaping up to be really a very good end to RTX 4000. The 4090 was a surprise. That was the most expensive GPU that didn't seem limited in any way. It was like double the 3090 for only $100 more. We thought we were off to a good start. While not everybody bought a 4090, we thought that at least the 4080 and down, all the way down to the 4060, 4050, would present the same type of performance gains for the price and the market that they're offering. But we're getting performance that's barely any better than last generation for prices that are often either the same or even a little bit more and for specs that are often worse like the 128 bit memory bus compared to 256 bits of this guy of last generation and there are going to be some scenarios where even the 3060 12 gigabyte may be the 4060 ti especially very vram limited compared to the 8 gigabyte version that's going to be interesting and very embarrassing for nvidia to see so no use in updating your gpu now if you have like a 3060 and you we're waiting for a 4060 Ti. We need to see what else is coming down or wait for these prices to come down more. As of right now, these entry level GPUs are absolutely terrible for the price and performance that you're getting. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.